This is the video review for Beast Wars Deluxe Man Terror. So in this mode, he obviously is a praying mantis. Praying mantis. And um, he, he kind of can't stand on his own because of his giant claws, which are filled with sh deadly shooting discs of death. I said deadly shooting discs of death. Damn it. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now that that's out of now that silliness is out of the way, uh, these discs actually are uh, bladed. I mean, there there's a lot of detail on these little things, so that's pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, he is somewhat nicely detailed. Uh, got some texturing there, some nice orange. I don't know what it is with orange in the Beast Wars. There's a whole lot of orange. Anyway, uh, so. His eyes are nicely detailed. He does have a working mouth. Ish. I guess that's enough to eat a quarter. Uh, the All the plastic, all the purple plastic is translucent, translucent, which I find really weird. I mean, it's translucent on the arms, translucent here, translucent legs, translucent in the robot legs, which I don't understand why, but oh well. So, as you can see, he's kind of a... A mess in beast mode. His arms are so big, it kind of takes away from the rest of the figure. Not only that, they don't stay up too well. They're kind of spindly. So let's go ahead and get him transformed. First we're going to do is rotate uh, these sections up to hook into the arms, or where the arms will... shoulders will be, I guess. Or maybe not. Oh, I'm sorry. You know I had it mistransformed in beast mode? That's the way it should be. They should be. They shouldn't be down here. They should be up here, pegged into place. Oops. So actually, the first thing we're going to do is come in here, and we will rotate the legs out and fold out the feet. Next, we will take this whole upper torso, this whole section, and swing it down. And you kind of have to play with things a, a bit here to get them in place. Pull that up, just get the robot, the... Okay, see what I did there? From that, I folded that up, and then that will fit right down there. And this is where it gets a little weird and a, and a little more tricky. These sections will fold in and create a chest plate. So you do that, and then you rotate the arm up like that. Now you have to kind of come in here and get these leg bits out of the way. And I'm going to try and do this without popping a ball joint. I doubt I'm going to be able to do it, but here goes. So, all right, there's one out of the way. To make this easier, I'm just going to, well, you really can't make it easier because they'll get in the way. So, I'll do it like this. As you can see, this... Ah! I almost had it. These ball joints pop really easily, and that's kind of good, because you're going to pop them all the time. And there we have Man Terror. Which, I remember getting this guy and thinking, Oh, this guy's cool, and he's awesome, and he's a giant praying mantis, and... Yeah... I am not digging this figure. I haven't dug this figure in a couple of years. His face is just stupid looking with that whole Joker-like grin. His, the plastic on the figure feels wrong. It feels cheap. He's got no real hand syndrome. He does have quite a bit of posability, but the ball joints on mine are starting to get a little bit you know, loose on the arms, they're not too bad. On the legs, forget it. I mean, just forget it. And to be honest, he's not that interesting. I mean, he's, he's kind of boring, to be honest. Is he bad? No, not really. He's just boring. I mean, there's no real way to wrap around the fact that he has these giant freaking no-hand things that he can go 
Well, he can at least hunt and peck when he needs to type. I mean, he can... He can hunt and peck. Like, that's about it. But other than that, he's just... He's kind of a boring figure. I mean, yes, he's got posability in his arms and in his legs. And I'm sure you could get him in some nice poses. But the weight on his arms is just ridiculous. Even when you're launching the blade, the weight isn't in the blade. I mean, this maybe weighs a gram. It's right here. This bit of plastic is super heavy compared to the rest of the figure. And to be honest, he's just dull. I mean, you could get some decent poses, but he's just... I mean, that's a pretty good pose. But compared to some other guys, he's just boring. I, 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 I can't recommend him. His beast mode is boring, and his transformation is... I will admit, his transformation is interesting, but his robot mode is boring. So, I can't recommend this guy. I just can't. Like I said, he's boring.